going to show later in the three days of the conference. We are going to show live demonstrations with people moving outside and we see how we can reach centimeter level accuracy in real time Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. We will have live demonstrations. Now, next, what I want to talk about, when we talk about millimeter and centimeter level accuracy, I will just take you one step further inside our receiver and we see how we do achieve uh, this kind of accuracy and how we have integrated uh, this technology into our box and how we are different from others and if, uh, how we are better, I should say. So, the name of our triumph and our technology, we call it Triumph, and I'll tell you later what, where the name comes from. Okay, and this is our model. We are back to lead again with Triumph. Okay, uh, this the, the, the core of our technology is a 0.09 micron. Uh, chip that consists of uh, four segments inside a tiny chip. This is what maybe uh, without going through this detail we all look the same. I want to explain, take you inside the heart of our technology which is this chip. In a tiny chip we have integrated five different modules of GNSS technical, uh, signal processing. We also have a V3D decoder, which I will explain what it is. Also, we have a microprocessor, powerful microprocessor inside the chip with memory and also other accessories and let it put out with this. At the heart of the thing, at the first part that I said GNSS section, we have 216 channels, which probably the next best that even also has connection to our team is a 72 channel that was done several years ago. So with the 2016 channels, we have uh, grouped them into different uh, sections. I will just go and step these uh, faster. Next one. We have 72 channels to track some particular uh, signals of GPS and the others that you meet, uh, you see here, Japanese that will come later, or uh, GLONASS that we have now, or Chinese that will come later, or Galileo that will come later. What we are selling today is already capable of tracking the signals that will come, satellites that will come later. So, the only thing that we need to do, if they change the structure of the signal, we need to upload new firmware inside the receiver. Next one. This is the, I mean, we have with slides on our website for you to see. The first segment is we show how different groups of channels we have in this 216 channels uh, and which one is optimized to track what. Next one. And also the last one we have memory code and what does it, it mean? This code of the satellites that are being tracked that we put it into a memory, not be generated by hardware. So whatever signal, whoever designs later to be satellites, we code by software. They're code into our receiver and we, we can track it. Okay, this was the first section so, of the chip. Also, we have equivalent of 110,000 regular channels for fast acquisition of signals. That's what you see when you turn on our receiver in the field. Within a few seconds, you get all satellites. And within a few extra seconds, depending on the number of satellites visible, you get your centimeter level accuracy. Okay, also we have inside the receiver five anti-jamming filter, in-band anti-jamming filter. And this is unique to us 
my good friend Archie Selby, many times that he drives in some places around Kansas, he cannot get GPS signals. Because in that area, there are some transmitters that their harmonics falls within the GPS band. Of course, all GPS receivers, they can watch signals that outside of the GPS band, there are filters. But when it falls within the GPS band, only we have this, that we have kind of a spectrum analyzer that monitors the band and then identifies that there are in-band signals. It could come from harmonics of radio stations or TV stations. We identify that and we analyze that signal and we generate a signal which is opposite of that to cancel it. That also, uh, this anti-jam filters are within this chip. Okay, also for some WAS and EGNOS, which are uh, 